picture question of our study is to try to understand how large the impacts of future climate change might be on the entire global economy. So what we find is that global economic productivity peaks at about 13 degrees Celsius. So as you cool or as you warm uh, from that temperature, productivity falls off a little bit. We find that aggregated across the world, increases in temperature by end of century could reduce global economic output by more than 20% relative to a world without climate change. Our results suggest that countries that are currently cool actually might benefit from a little bit of warming. So again, these are countries in the high latitudes, countries in Northern Europe. But most countries in the world, uh, we find, are likely to be harmed by increase in temperature. This includes countries like the US and particularly countries in the tropics, countries that are already hot. So this has implications for how we understand future climate change. So where you are relative to 13 degrees, if you're cooler than 13 degrees, increases in temperature might help you. If you're warmer than 13 degrees already, increases in temperature are gonna hurt you. So this is a map of our projected impacts uh, by end of century, by 2100. And what the colors show here are the uh, change in economic output in a world with unmitigated climate change. So this is a business as usual climate change scenario compared to a world without climate change. So this is really the effect of climate change on global economic output. And the red colors here are countries that are really harmed and the blue countries are countries that might benefit. And what you see is, is that the impacts are, are really a, a function of what your average temperature was in, in today's climate. So in countries that are really hot right now, so countries here in the tropics in Sub-Saharan Africa and South and Southeast Asia uh, and parts of Latin America, those countries uh, are going to be hurt uh, and hurt substantially by increases in warming. On the other hand, we have countries way up here in the high latitude, so this is countries in Northern Europe, Russia. Our model actually suggests that these countries might benefit from, uh, from increases in temperature. Our results suggest that climate change could increase inequality around the world. Countries in the northern latitudes, cool countries, which also uh, today happen to be richer countries, we see some of these countries likely benefiting from climate change. Uh, unfortunately, we see many of the poor countries in the world really being harmed by climate change. To us, this suggests that climate change could worsen global income inequality. We think our results uh, are very important for policy discussions around emissions mitigation. How much do we want to invest in emissions mitigation? The answer to that question depends on how bad we think the impacts of climate change might be. So our results suggest that if we don't do anything, if we continue to emit uh, greenhouse gases, the results of that could be really bad on global economic output. And so we think our results, these sort of new results, uh, provide a stronger impetus to invest in emissions mitigation.